Hi, I'm Danny Brown, and I'm the CEO of Myriad Real Estate Group. And in this video, we're going to talk about what buyers and sellers can expect in a shifting market. So as you've probably heard or uh, subscribed to my videos, the market is in a shift right now. And the shift does not mean that the market is crashing. Uh, what it means is that inventory is increasing while demand is coming down, and this is exactly what we want to have happen. Uh, the market's been crazy the last two years. We've had, we have, we've survived a housing crisis. Most people don't realize it because when they think of a housing crisis, they think of, we all have recency bias, right? So we think about what happened in 07, 08 as the only way a housing crisis can take place where we've got so much inventory, home values are crash, crashing. Well, this housing crisis was the exact opposite of 2007, 2008, where we had no inventory and prices were shooting through the roof. So complete opposite, it was a housing crisis and we are starting to come out of it. So supply is on the increase, demand is coming down because you've got higher prices and you've got higher interest rates. And so right now in Greater Phoenix, there's roughly 8,000 homes on the market and that number is continuing to increase, which is a good thing and what we want. So what does that mean for buyers and sellers? Well, if you're a seller in this market, it means you're gonna have longer days on market, you're gonna have greater competition, you're not gonna be able to put a sign in the front yard and sell within hours or the first weekend. Your agent is actually gonna to have to do some work to get your home sold, and so are you. You're gonna to have to prep your home like you haven't before. You're gonna to have to clean it, paint it, do repairs. Um, you know, have that curb appeal that's been important. Make sure that you have high-end photos of your home. You know, if your agent is walking through using their cell phone to take pictures, they are, they're, they're, they're not doing you justice. You've got to have a professional photographer in there and they've got to go the extra mile to get your home sold. I am used to this type of market. I am used to having these conversations with our clients because I've been doing this since 2007. And so, you know, having discussions on price reductions. We are gonna see and have started seeing more price reductions than we've ever seen before. The thing to remember is that price reductions are very different than uh, sales price. Sales price is not dropping. It's just kind of leveling out. And so the rest of the year, the foreseeable future, that level of appreciation is not crashing, it's just slowing down. So sellers can still expect to get good value for their home just not ridiculous value for their home. Sellers, be prepared. This is a much more balanced market. You're gonna need to do more to get your home sold. If you're a buyer, this is, not, this is much nicer. This, uh, this feels like a vacation after what we've gone through where you have some options, finally, that you don't necessarily need to buy a home in a terrible location just to get into something that you can negotiate on the price or get the seller to help uh, contribute towards your closing costs. We're having luck in getting buyers uh, repairs to their home or large credits in lieu of repairs. So this market feels a lot more normal and a lot more balanced uh, versus the last two years uh, that we're coming out of. So in Greater Phoenix, as we all know, it is super hot right now. It is about mid-June. We are in triple digits. We've already hit the one teens, and I hate it. Like I am not looking forward to you know, the next few months. I loathe June through September. Uh, but what that means for the housing market is our seasonality kicks in. This is our winter, right? So the rest of the country is headed into their summer and their housing market picks up while ours slows down. Um, so we see a lot more families take vacations, a lot of people leave Phoenix, so our population actually decreases during our summer months, and so less transactions just happen overall. Uh, this is especially true in the luxury market. So a lot of luxury sellers uh, take their homes off the market because they usually own multiple properties and they leave Phoenix. And so their home's not listed for sale. So those transit, there's a lot less transactions that take place in the luxury market in Phoenix every year. Same with retirement communities. So your active adult communities, a lot of those people leave town and those markets dry up dur during the summertime. So our seasonality is starting to kick back in. So less transactions are gonna take place. That means buyers, you're gonna have less competition. 
so we have increasing inventory right now with less buyers in the market so again that is much more ability to negotiate so no more waiving of inspections, which you shouldn't have been doing anyway, or shortening those inspection periods, waiving of appraisals. You don't have to do any of that anymore. Uh, so it, this is just a much more favorable market to buyers. But sellers, you're still in a good spot. You're still getting higher prices for your home. So you're not losing anything right now. Uh, so just, just to finish up, a shifting market is not a crashing market. So everything that is taking place in the housing market right now is what we want to have happen. We need more inventory, need more inventory, need more inventory. That has been the biggest problem that we've had coming out of the last two years. And we have survived that housing crisis because that inventory is increasing. So think of it as we're not headed into a housing crisis. We are actually coming out of a housing crisis. Uh, so if you have any questions about this, if you're a buyer or a seller in the greater Phoenix area, definitely let me know. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe. And again, I'm Danny Brown with Myriad Real Estate Group.